That's it, that's it. Oh, oh, no. Hi guys, if you're new to the channel, my name is Hannah Martin. Yes, I'm a Rithwick gymnast and I'm the one that throws the hoop, catches the club and twirls the ribbon. Today I'm going to be looking at some of my old training clips from a long, long time ago. It's in back to probably about 2013-ish, so that's about five years ago, which is when I first started training in elite gymnastics. So it's going to be interesting looking at these different clips. Probably a bit funny, probably a bit painful but I think it's gonna be good so let's get right to it so I started gymnastics about I don't know 2011 or 2010 can't remember but I had my first competition in 2012 I think but I was doing like a lot of ballet and gymnastics before I started competing with my gymnastics let's have a look at some of these training clips so we often took like video analysis to have a look at some of the, like how my elements were going so I just wanted to have a quick look with you guys to see to see them I don't know if I want to see them but I thought for your entertainment I would go through this experience so it looks like I'm about to do a split leap so let's have a little little look that was nice it wasn't high my toes weren't great but it was in splits right I was probably like 11 10 or 11 and jumping hasn't come naturally to me jumping leaping elevation all that isn't something that I'm naturally good at so something I had to work really hard on we tried like loads of different things like putting weights on we tried jumping over a hoop we tried jumping over blocks to be able to actually get my legs in split at that point was a milestone for me as some of you might know I love doing punchy pirouettes They're like, it's one of my favourite elements to do, uh, but I was not always that great at it. Obviously I had to work really hard and I'm going to show you some clips of me working on this element. Yeah. That's it. Or oh, with my Hannah De Monte shorts on. Oh! I just fell on my forehead, but... That's it, that's it. Oh, oh. No. No. Yeah. I mean, everyone starts from somewhere, don't they? But I remember being so proud of that pirouette, that one right there, because I posted it on Instagram and I was like, cut the end off so you couldn't see me like, almost dying at the end. But yeah, that's where I started with this element. That was actually a better one than I thought it was going to be. My legs are not quite in split until the very end, but it, it was a full rotation pretty much it was actually i'm impressed with myself because i thought it was gonna be awful and i think on video i got the first one which like we felt was my first ever proper punch pirouette whereas in split the whole way through the rotation so let's have a little watch of that my first ever punch pirouette there you go i should say you my mum says i think you might have just done it and i just look like oh, really out of it but you know this is where I started long that took over a year to get like best like perfected before it actually went in any routines but that's just the way things work you spend a long time perfecting element before it actually gets shown to anyone so yeah one more here which is a little bit time afterwards and you can see it's already getting a little bit better um, that was uh, my journey with the punch pirouettes I think sometimes that's why it's good to take video analysis because you can see like your improvement from like the start to the end. Let's have a little look at some more leaping videos I've got on here, I think. I was a back bend stag leap, which actually, it, it wasn't perfect obviously, but it was better than the leap we just saw a bit earlier. <laughs> so, yes, it's okay, I guess. How long later from the other video was this? I can actually do a split leap. And I think that was like, what, six months later from the other video? I'm impressed with myself. 
Because my baby brother used to come with me to all my trainings. Look at him with my clubs. Look at him with my clubs. And then try punch pirouette. And no, it goes downhill from there. So, I hope you enjoyed that kind of different video of some of my early training clips. I don't have that many because some of them have been deleted, but those were just some of them and I wanted to share them with you. Things take time, they're not always instant. It takes time to develop an element or time to practice makes perfect. And that's kind of proof of it is that, you know, you're not gonna practice it first time and it's gonna work, it's gonna take time. That poetry pirouette took me over a year to learn before it even went in the routine and still then it wasn't perfect. And even now I'm still working on it, but it's that progression. So yeah. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to click that subscribe button because I would super, super, super appreciate it. Remember, dream big, make it happen.